All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to take the door lock mechanism right there off of this car. Uh, it's common for the spring to break and then it just stays in one position or the other instead of springing back to the position. So I'm going to show you how to take that out. First thing you're going to want to do, take the door panel off. I've already done that here. There's plenty of videos on how to do that. It's very easy. Then what you're going to want to do is you have to remove the glass, the frame around the glass, uh, which means also all of this and the regulator. So first, pull this off. Pull the wires back. And this exposes your window regulator. So take your door switch off. It's easy. It's in the door. Uh, panel with these little tabs so you'll reach from the bottom side and press these in and push up and it will come right out then you can plug this in and roll this down till we can access these two bolts here once you have these two off then you will push the glass and we're gonna tape that to the top. All right, once you have your window taped up, we're gonna take the frame loose. It's four screws, one. They're Torx. They are uh, the T30, typical. There's one there, there's one there, one there, and one there. It's just four for the window regulator rails, and then one, two, three for the window motor. Okay, once you have those loose, you're going to basically fold this thing up. We can pull the motor out and unplug it, actually. And then we're going to fold this up and take it out. You're going to have to cut a zip tie right here and right here. And this, basically to get it out, you're going to want to fold it up, but try to remember how... You gotta put it back. So I'm gonna lay it flat here in this position. Now we got enough room to pull the window down. All right, next you gotta remove this little tray. So you're gonna pull this sticky back and you'll see one, two, three, four, five screws. You may have to pull that one back on yours depending on who made it. Then this will come out. Great, now that this is gone, uh, and we have space below this window frame that goes all the way down. Uh, we're going to untape the window, push it all the way down, angle it, and slide it up and out of the window. Okay, now we need to move the window trim in here. And this is done by reaching up inside of here and pulling this rubber strip here, which is going to come out all the way up the glass. You may have to a little bit, but yep, you're basically gonna pull this all the way out, don't worry, you don't need to re-glue it, it just pops right back in. Pull it all the way around in, you can see there are screws there that go all the way around. And there's also, down below the door, one Torx on either side. It's behind the felt there. All right, I pulled the trim all the way around to here and stopped there, and then I lifted up the trim in there to get that one bolt behind there this way you don't have to worry about trying to line that trim back up it's still stuck in there now we're going to very carefully pull this out by pulling on the inside just keep in mind you've got painted surfaces there you want to be careful of
Now you're gonna wanna take this off, which is easy. It's one, two, three of these Torx fittings. You have a gun or this little car right here comes in handy, boom. And boom, and now this is free to come out. You'll need to <coughs> use a flathead here and just very neatly pop this out. And this is for the door lock mechanism, or the door actuator. So if you need to change the lock actuator, it's right here. Pop it out like so. Push these clear. So that's free to move. Then you're gonna need to take out this screw, this screw, this screw and this screw. This screw is for the door handle outside and this bolt right here and the door handle on the outside will come off. This off. I'll just make sure not to lose the little rubber. Up on the door lock. Remember though, is you've got this cable here connected to it still. It's pretty easy to see how to take that off and change it. If you've forgotten, there's just a little metal clip. Now, when you take this out, there's also an electric plug micro switch here. It goes to telling when the door is open or not, and it's here. And it's glued on, so you're going to need to use a very small flathead behind it to pull it out and then also there is this clip that holds it on which basically just springs over the metal <laughs> there you go so it presses on there like that there's a little bit of glue on the top side to hold it in and it just pops into this little thing and that's how you take it out <laughs> 